What's up, guys? I'm Rasim from RossMeritech.com, and this is another tutorial in beginner PHP programming. Now, in this class, I'm going to talk about super global variables. So let's get started. Now, what are super global variables? Well, they are predefined variables that can access variable values with anywhere in the program. Doesn't matter. They don't have any limitations, and you can access them anywhere. They can be in a function or anywhere, and you'll be able to access their value. So, first thing we're going to need to do is um, declare a few variables. The first variable I'm going to declare, I'm going to call x. Oops. The first variable I'm going to declare, I'm going to call x, right? I want to make x equal to the integer value of 5. And we end this with a semicolon. I'm going to create another variable, which I'm going to call y. And I want to make this one equal to integer value of 10. We're going to end it that with a semicolon. Now I'm going to create a function. To create a function, again, we're going to type in function. Hit space, we're going to give our function a name. I'm going to call mine add because I'm going to add those two variables. Then we're going to use a open and close parentheses. I'm going to hit enter, right? We're going to use a open curly brace. I'm going to hit enter a few times, then we're going to use a close in curly brace, right? So this is our function body here. Within the function body, I'm going to use that global variable. Uh, this global variable is predefined. So we have to type in first this dollar symbol, capital G L O B A L. -O. S, right? And we're going to use a open and close bracket. Now, within this open and close bracket, we're going to use a set of single quotes, right? Two single quotes. In between the two single quotes, we're going to type in our variable name, which is x, right? The first one is x. Then uh, what I'm going to do is I want, I want this one. So you know what? I'm going to make this one z, right? And uh, we're, going to, we're going to declare z in the bottom. So now what I'm going to do is I want to make this global variable z equal global variable again capital G L O B A L S right open and close bracket and within the open and close bracket we're going to use a set of uh, single quotes in between the set of single quotes I'm going to type in our variable name which is x the first one is x and it has a value of 5 so at the end of this I'm going to hit space I'm going to use the plus symbol hit space again and type in another global variable so again capital G L O B A L -S. S, open and close brackets, right? In between the open and close brackets, we're going to have a set of uh, single quotes, right? In, in, in between a set of single quotes, I'm going to put our other variable name, which is Y, right? So now we're going to end this with a semicolon. So, all right, so let's start from the top. I declared a variable, which I called X, and I made X equal to integer value of 5. All right, now we declared another variable, which we called Y, and we made Y equal to integer value of 10. Now, in here I created a function. The reason I created this function is to show you guys that these global variables they can pull out values from outside the function which you should not be able to do but since we're using these super global variables which are predefined we're able to pull out the variable value from outside this function. So our first global variable here has a value of z right and this variable is equal to this variable plus this variable here right so let's test it. Oh, actually all right, so now in the bottom here, we got to invoke this function. To do that, we got to type in our function name, which is add, open and close parentheses, and end it with a semicolon. Now we invoke this variable, right? We got the values out. Now what we're going to need to do, I want to use an echo statement. I want to echo, echo out uh, the variable z, right? Because z has the results, and end this with a semicolon. So let's test it out. I'm going to hit save. Let's open up the browser. I'm going to hit refresh. And as you can see, it worked. It printed out 15. Now let's minimize this. Now from the top again, I declared a variable which I called x, and x has a value of 5. I declared another variable which I called y, and y has a value of 10. I created a function, right, just to show you guys that when we're using the, the, the super global variable, that we can pull out the value from outside the function, which you should not be able to do. But since we're using global variables, uh, they're possible. So. Basically, I created a new variable in here, which I called z, and I want z to uh, be able to hold the value of uh, x and y. So we we added x and y, and the results get stored in z. So now z here should have a value of 15, which it does. Down here, we uh, we invoked the function by typing in the function name, open and close parentheses, then semicolon, then we echoed out the variable z. Now we know the variable z has the results, which which is uh, global variable x plus global variable y, which is 15. So again, 
if, we, if you want to use global variables, right, you use them. Uh, if you want to pull out the variable values from anywhere in the program, there are no limitations and and they're pretty uh, useful. So that's it for this class. If you guys like this tutorial, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and thanks for watching.